knew exactly what it was as soon as it started. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd be lying to you if I, if I didn't tell you. I was walking off the field with tears knowing that uh, this, this might be it because, you know, it, it, football seemed to have some, something to do with it. Mm-hmm. Did you ever go through the why me stage for even a little bit? Yeah, oh gosh, yeah, anybody would. Um, I, I definitely, I did, you know, for the first week or two and, um, I, you know, like I, I said, I, I had two options in all this. It was either, you know, be depressed, leave this team, forget this year, and really kind of just be disappointed in myself or make the most of it and uh, give back to what they've given me. Then you had a traumatic concussion in high school. Did you play with that in the back of your mind, knowing that you know, there was always that chance that it could be over after one minute? Back in high school, or I mean, that just sit here. Once you move past it, you got the college. Yeah, um, I mean, it's uh, my high school uh, concussion. What was a pretty big deal, and um, it, it was I was it was in the back of my mind a little bit, but you know, I mean, up all through the years, my, my three years playing here and such, it, I mean, you can't play scared. You know, you can't play hesitant or anything, and um, so I, I really didn't have too much of an effect on me. When do you finish up school? I'll be I'll be done in May. Classes and stuff. I'll be I could I could graduate in December, but I'm going to stay. And uh, what do you think your next step? My next be? step. Oh, that's 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 a good question. That's what I'm trying to find right now. I've uh, I've been interviewing with a lot of companies um, and such, a lot of different industries. Um, I'm a leader. I'm a born leader. I love to lead. I majored in political science, so whether it's politics or, or government or next president of the United States, I don't know. Hold on. I'm just I'm just waiting to see. I think the government does need help. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I would I would I would like that. That'd be fun. Thanks. Sorry, Nick. Sorry. Coach Kelly said that you had a few job offers after speaking in Texas. And yeah. Show me your heart. No. Yeah, that was serious. Uh, when I was when I was down there, I spoke at the pep rally a little bit, and then uh, um, met with some alumni afterwards. Uh, an event and uh, yeah, they I guess they, they liked what they saw, liked what they heard. Um, it was pretty. Are you looking forward to getting back out to Colorado this week? Yeah, I can't wait. Uh, I've, I've had this game you know, circled on my on my calendar for, for some years now, and uh, uh, didn't think it would be in this role, but you know, this, is, this is what it is, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm excited for it. How has the transition been for you? The this mm-hmm, yeah. It was tough. Uh, it was it was it was hard at first, um, trying to deal with the emotional side of things, and still trying to recover uh, physically as well. So um, it was definitely difficult. But I told myself two options: I can either give into this, I can fall in defeat, let it define me, or I can just overcome it and, and, and beat it and really show people that you know, regardless of physical ailments or anything going on, you can you can still be the best you can wherever you are. How soon after you found out your career was over were you were you able to just jump right back into practice or was there a kind of a uh, I sat down with Coach Kelly and Coach Diaco um, about that our first Saturday, our first Saturday back here and stuff. Um, we made the decision then that was the day when I came out uh, to the public about it and all and um, I haven't missed practice then, haven't missed a meeting then. Um, initially uh, coach told me Rest up, take care of yourself first, and then, you know, get back here and do your job. So.